What's up guys? Welcome to the back to the channel fishing with ROB NYC. Today we're doing a little something different as I stated in the last video. We are out here camping. We're out at Wildwood State Park, not New Jersey, but in Mariches, Long Island. This is Suffolk County, Long Island, New York. And this is what we're working with right here. I'm going to be staying in this digs right here. Later on, I'll give you a little tour. But right now, I'm going to head on down to the commissary. I'm trying to see if I can get a little snacky snack before I go out and get something to eat. Tomorrow's a big day, y'all. We plan on taking the kayak. Oh, y'all didn't know I had a kayak, huh? Oh, yeah, so I do have a kayak. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, I had the kayak before I had the inflatables. And there's a story behind that, too. Um, didn't use the uh, kayak. I haven't used it in two years, I think. I got it in 2018. I brought the kayak. 2019, I just sustained a, a muscle injury right there, so I couldn't kayak. And then we had 2020 and 2022 up until now. You know what happened. We had the virus and everything. But now, I got the kayak right here. Let me just show you the back end of it. And look, this is how I transport the kayak. Bam! It's 13 feet. It's a fishing machine, and tomorrow is when we're going to use it. We're going to take it out to the Long Island Sound. I'm on the northwest side of the, of the, of the, of the uh, Long Island Sound. Normally when I'm in the kayak, I mean, normally when I'm in the inflatable, I'm on the, uh, the New York side, which is south of uh, the north side where I'm at now. So hopefully we can catch something. As you saw in the last video, I got skunk. Hopefully this video, I can catch some fish. In the meantime, I'm going down there. Hopefully they got something I can snack on. Commissary is not back there where I thought it was, but they give me this map. And look, you said I could walk there, but I swear that looked like a long walk, but we're gonna go over there and see what's down and give us a chance to see what's going on. Look at this hill I got a truck up. These are hills. I got a truck up this hill, but you know what? A little exercise. I believe this is the campsite for, for tents. I'm on the RV side. It sounds like there's some activity up here, but check this out, guys. At night, pitch black. Pitch black, you need a flashlight, and guess what I didn't bring? But I, did have, I do have my phone, but I don't see myself walking around out here. You know, at night. But it reminds me of a place when I was little, my parents took me to. Yeah, this is definitely for, for the for tent. As you can see, there's some tents over there. This is section B. And you see people just coming in, they're getting set up. It's beautiful. I think this is a camp store right here. Sounds like a camp store. Right about there. Hopefully they got something that can hold me on. Hold me over for a minute. It's just so campy out here, guys. So campy. I mean, didn't even take long for me to get here. About an hour and a half. Yeah, everybody's getting settled in here. Um, let me get a Dorito. Doritos? Yes, sir. What you got as far as soda in there? Huh? What do you have for soda? Soda? Yeah, what kind? We have orange crush, grape crush, Pepsi, ginger ale. All right, um, let, me, let me have a Pepsi, sir. What? All right, how much you robbing me for? Three, six, three, three, nine, eleven. 11 bucks, guys. 11 bucks on this. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on a second. Yes. All right, just the menu. That's what they robbed me for. $11 for one, two, <coughs> three, four items. Okay, guys, so came over to the commissary, got robbed, but I expected to get robbed. I brought two. Endermans, or eat, I forgot the name of the cookies, but the ones you saw, been eating those since high school. 
I don't know what they charge me here, probably three dollars a piece when they're normally like a dollar outside of, I guess, a little environment like this. But you know, when you're held captured and you're hostage, you gotta pay if you wanna play. So I'm not gonna complain. Eleven dollars. Could've got a real meal for that, right? But we got a surprise coming here. Got a special guest that's gonna be joining us today. I'm actually his special guest. Yeah, and he's on his way here. He's on his way here. And when he get here, I'll introduce you. And that's part of the plan for tomorrow that he and I go out kayaking. He got a kayak, a little story behind that. I'm not, I may have to make this a two part video. We'll see. What first part is about the camping experience here at Wildwood State Park. Second one would be us out there floating on the water. Hopefully we can catch some porgies. As you can see, people set up just to have a good time. That's what it's all about. Don't worry about nothing. Relax your mind. If you got pain, you ease your pain. But right now, I'm going to go back and snack out a little bit. And I'll see you all soon. Guys, we're going to be setting up camp. Look what we got. We got yak number one. I should have showed you yak number two. My guest today on the show is new jack. Yak. Hey, hey, hey. KW right here, KW. And What's listen, on, if you need a fence, need a fence, put up. Yeah, yeah, right here, Long Island the Best, right there. Exactly. There you go. I don't know why he don't have it on the on, the, on his uh RUV. This is his gigs right here. This is his digs. He's gonna give us a tour soon, but we're just setting up right now. Getting the propane right. And then we're gonna go get some food because the brother told me not to worry, but I had to worry. Y'all saw. I had to go down to the commissary. Eleven dollars for two uh, cookie packs of cookies, a bag of small twenty-five cent Doritos, and a Pepsi, and it cost me eleven bucks. But you know, I ain't mad. We out here to relax, chillax, and have a good time. And tomorrow's the day. Hopefully, we catch some fish. We catching fish, man? Without a doubt. You heard it right Without there. Doubt. Heard it right there. We're gonna be catching some fish. Like I said, we're like in the Long Island Sound. The north, the north south is the south side. Oh. No, north, the northwest side of the Long Island Sound. And we know Porgy should be there. We should catch, hopefully, stripers. And this part is very sandy, so I'm looking maybe to catch a fluke. Think we catch a fluke? At least three. He said three fluke. At I think three. I think you only catch two and take. Uh, all right, all right. And maybe we'll do a cook, a catch and cook. We'll see how yeah, it works. This is a 35 foot, it's a Wildwood Heritage Glen. Yeah, let's go in, give you a little quick tour. So as you walk in, the first thing you notice is all this space right here. So as you see right there, that's a that's a pullout, he tells me. I'm, I haven't settled in. That's my bag and my camera gear. You got a sensor console right here. It gives you a feel that you're already home, that you never left home. Over here you have a refrigerator. It's full of ice. <laughs> <laughs> you got a microwave right here. And you got a chopping area, a work area right here. And I'm sure this is an electric stove, of course. Propane. 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 Oh, okay. It's a propane stove. So we're getting fire out of that. And this is supposed to be a sink, y'all. But we can see he don't wash dishes. So he made this a bar. <laughs> and when we look at the stash, we got some Jack D in there. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got some... Oh, okay. We got some coconut liquor. But you don't have a blender. And and then we got this, all this wine in here. My man is ready for company. You know what I mean when I say company. <laughs> If we walk yeah. back here, it's more room. You got the bedroom back here. This is where the king lives. See here? Yep. Bed all jacked. All right, look at that. We, never mind how the bed look. <laughs> but that's very, that's very spacious right there. Overhead, you got storage above. Storage on the side. Mirror storage. And I believe this is a cl and more closet space. I'm sorry. Something just fell out of here. Oh, he's boxing too. Don't come in and try to jack him, because he's ready to put the gloves on. Ready to put the gloves on. <clears throat> so this is where we're going to be hanging out. I'm going to be here for, to about Sunday. It is Friday. People are pull, still pulling in. Still pulling in. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is a little dining area. So this is a little dining area. And you know, when you see these RVs, uh, this is what, what, what you refer to, a camper? 
A travel trailer. When you see a travel trailer on TV, they look so small. But this is very spacious. I don't know what the width is. He'll tell you what's the width. It's uh, eight feet. Eight feet width. With the slides, though, it's um, 12 feet. Almost 14. All right, so you got almost 14 once you yeah, pump it out. The window, so. the window is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm, I'm sorry. Because they're three-foot slides. Okay. So that's 36, 72. Yes. All right, so from, from side to side, we're talking 72 inches bumped out both sides. Very spacious. And this thing is... Only thing that's miss, this thing is missing, I'm just gigging on them. It's missing a little satellite TV. Do you need me to invest for your satellite, man, for the next time or something, man? Got no I have a satellite, satellite up there, but this network couldn't come out in time. Oh, I thought the thing is a travels type of satellite. Why do I see people on TV and they're watching TV? Because we have the satellite dish up top. Oh, they have to connect to some kind of yeah, light? Yeah, they, they didn't come in in time for the receivers. Uh, all right, so there you go. So, we'll have it next time. Next time, we'll have it. Next time, we have satellite. I don't even know how to work real cool, rock cool, whatever it's called. <laughs> so, also, you got a little radio down there. I think that's a CD player or maybe yep. CD player. And look, we are there set up for the winter. That is a electric fireplace, fireplace heater. So you can really live in this and be off road, but that's a whole nother video. Look at that. It's just for the ambience. This guy is trying to be a player player. <laughs> Come here, let's go for a ride, baby. <laughs> Going for the ride. Okay, guys, we out here at a restaurant called Lucharitos. Sounds Mexican to me. And we're going to get our eat on. I'm going to take you in there and see what's like. Where are we located? Uh, Aquabar. We're in Aquabar, Long Island. We are in the sticks, y'all. We are very much in the sticks. So let's go on into this restaurant and get our grub on, get our grub on. Yeah, you're cracking down. All right, if I get towed up, it's his fault. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So I just had a shot of Don Julio Silva. It went down real smooth. It didn't burn, so I I, I can drink this and uh, chase it with this little sweet thing. Sit, rum punch right there. No, it don't take much to get me tipsy, y'all. We just out having a good time. Sit. Sit. He's Sit. driving. <laughs> Hopefully he can get us back. <laughs> I got my eye on him because I watched him already. Okay. <laughs> we are at Luchi Rito, somewhere deep, deep. Aqua Bar. In the Aqua Bar, Long Island. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, good morning, good morning. This is day two. Day two of the camping trip. It's like early in the morning. I think it's about maybe seven to eight. I'm not even sure. But people are out. It wasn't supposed to be a great day, but it looked like the sun is peeking through. That's a good day. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna go and get some breakfast first and then get some food. Cause my, 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 that's my cousin. He said I didn't have to bring nothing, but he forgot the food. <laughs> so we're gonna get some food for the night. We're not spending no money. We had a great time last night at the restaurant. I saw the, the, what, the Mexican restaurant. We had a great time there. And then we're gonna go out and hit the beach, hit the water. You got the yaks all loaded. And that's what we're doing today. So let's go. All right, guys, we had to make a pit stop. We got some bait. Show that bait. I don't know. I'm out on the island. They don't have like live bait. Everything is frozen bait. <laughs> you would think the fishing capital of the East Coast, you can get some. Warren, we have to get this. Yeah, sparing. So we're going to be using sparing. I have to change out my whole setup, put on a bigger hook, and we're going to try to go fluking or whatever else is going to jump on this thing. But check this out. These, they rent boats out here. We got the Great Bay Marina. That's the number. These guys are called, very friendly. And if you zoom in there, you can actually see the rate. Uh, you can start with a Rebello, a half a day, 275, a full day, 425.
we're going back to the compound set up and we're going to get on the water all right guys we out here finally got out here um looking at we're fish i'm at about 10 feet of water right now uh not choppy out here but as you can see it's a little wavy i got a new jack yak back what's there up, what's up? that's right <laughs> You got my man, that's my cousin He's back there. In the kayak. There you go. Got the yak out <laughs> finally. But let me tell you, that struggle down that hill up there. Look at that hill. Ah uh, man, I don't think any kayak wheels can handle that. But I'm about to drop a line and see if we get a bite. Um, the guy back there, he's fishing from the shore. He brought in two porgies. Let's see what we get. Let's go. Alright, we just dropped the first line. See what we get. Before we even get into it, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share the video, hit the like. We need your support, I need your support. Hopefully we don't get skunked this, this time out. We got skunked last week. We can't have two skunks. I see the party boats are out. Right out there, party boats. So it must be some fish around here. I'm fishing on the Long Island side side of the uh on the side of the uh long island sound on the opposite side that's uh connecticut bridgeport i usually fish down that way the south side going towards uh, uh queens westchester county that's where you usually catch me i think this area is kind of like a muddy area I feel like i'm in something i don't know i'm stuck on something but i'm out let's see what we can get uh, like I said earlier, you can't get no fresh bait out here. Everything is frozen. I'm fishing with. Yo, yo, what are we fishing with? <laughs> what bait we using? Um, using uh, See, we don't even know what kind of bait we use. It's like large minnow type bait. This seems like a sandy bottom here. Look like sandy bottom. Okay guys, it is not looking good again. But I hear the party boats out there. If you can look all the way, I mean it's a little dot from where you look at there's a party boat. He keep banging his horn. So there must be fish out there, but it's so far out. Uh, yeah, it's just not comfortable for me to be going out there. So we just dropping. We fishing with these. I never fish with these. They're like kind of like minnow. I forgot what they call them, but they said it works on this side of the island. I haven't seen anything work. I haven't seen it work yet. Doesn't appear to be any fish. Well, something's down here, right here, but it's not taking my bait. A lot of algae here. Red algae. I think it's red algae. Like right, we're just gonna keep going at, and hopefully we can get a bite. I'm gonna turn this around. I just had a little incident. If you could look back there, there's a gentleman back there fishing. He swore he threw it this far out. Now I'm I'm thinking I'm two, three football fields out, 300 yards, and he's thinking I'm I'm on his line. But at the time, I had to be like one, 100 yards away, and he's talking about. I'm on his line. Well, son, if you could throw that far, I think you need to get off that rock and go join the Olympics, go some team, break some records, because I don't think you throwing that far. Right now, we over a sandy, a sandy bottom, and we just jigging. Once again, leave the comments below what that, what kind of bait this is. It's like little minnows to me. I know some people eat those. Eat that. Starling. Starling, whatever star. Okay, so he said starling. starling. New Jack, New Jack, yeah, KW said it was starling. But I, I've never jigged with this, so let's see. Like I said, it's a pretty flat bottom here, so that's telling me it's sand down there. There's really no rock. And we're just drifting. We're not even anchored. Tide is still coming in, which is good for when we go back. But that little boat out there, starting to look closer and closer. <laughs> yeah. Gotta hit the bottom again, bam. But like I always say, guys, 
you know, it's, to me, it's not always about catching fish. You're going to catch fish sometime and sometime you're not, right? That's it. This is out here with na nature. This is God's giving gift to man to be out here on the water, which is energy, positive energy. And it's just so relaxing. So if you're, if you're on the land, you're going through some stressful time. There's so many ways, as I say, to get out here, whether you're on a party boat, a kayak, or as I always, my little inflatable boat, which I call the BX Scout. And coming soon, the big one with the 20 horsepower, that's coming soon. Yeah, so just get out here. I mean, don't be afraid. Don't, don't let your fears dictate your failure in life. We're going to make mistakes, but we must learn from them. I'm trying to get this guy to go uh, skydiving. I've done that before. I'm going skydiving, right, KW? Without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. All right. Let me not reach too far. Uh, tip. Oh, there you go. So I'm trying to get dude here to overcome his fear. We had a conversation about it. But he's going to go jump out of a plane with me. I'll pay for it this I'll time. I'll do it. I'll do it. You only live once. Listen here. You heard it, right? You can't say that and not commit and not do it. So that's, that's it. It's on. That's right. The place we got to go, uh, <laughs> you need coordinates to get there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to just show up with, like, make a turn at Randall Street, and there it is. You have a, no, it's coordinates. This is some out here somewhere far. All right, guys, we're going to get back to this fishing. Somebody got to catch something. Um, I'm being optimistic with this here bait that we use. I never, I never fish with this bait. And like I said, out here long, I can't believe we can't find any worms. It's, everything is frozen. Look at that. He's gonna have that for lunch later. <laughs> Basically, just freeze it right back up. Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the fishing. All right, KW, you got a porgy, man. It look like a jumble, right? Oh, he got a jumble. Bring him in, bro, before you get off. It's you and your long pole. That's what's biting down there. So he got to keep a porgy. I'm going to come over there. Dang. All right, guys, let's see that porgy you brought in, man. Pick him up here. Take the towel because I know you're looking and they're going to. Right. Don't let but them flip I, I, out. I have a long pole, so. You don't have to hold them well, first. They don't need to know all that information. <laughs> <laughs> Get them right here, Lee. We're going to show you the porgy in a minute. All right, hold on. Look at this, guys. Nice. The color. There you go. I don't know where he's going. Oh, I got a bag. Hold on a second. I'm going to put them in my fish bag. Open that up. You should stay alive till we get back there. So this is my makeshift fit fish bag, y'all. Who's spending hundred dollars on a Hobie thing? He's gonna drop that right there, and it's gonna sink. It's gonna fill up, and he'll be all right. We seem to have drifted somewhat. <laughs> At least we know where we need to get to from the shore. So let me bait up, and he's gonna rebait up, and see if we can get some more porgies. All right, guys. So the action is like really slow, as you see. We got one porgy. And wait a minute, we may have another bite right now. Something looks like it's nibbling. We got something right now. I hope it's not a sea robin, but it feels like a sea robin. It feels like the last one. Maybe it's another porgy. We'll see. Let's see what we're bringing up. It is coming up. Damn, it's coming over. Okay, there it is. Oh, another sea robin. See, it felt like a sea robin. Yeah, there you go. Sea robin. I got another sea robin. Today is sea robin day for me. Come here, boy. Come here. So, sea robin day for me here. Wow, well, at least this one got hooked right. He didn't swallow it, so. Let's see, get him off and get him back in the water. They got like a hard armor head. This one here, just gotta get him to open up. Open up, Mr. C. Robin. So here's my C. Robin. See, look at him, C. Robin. Got a little foot. Is this the, the biblical walking on land fish? The original, is he a descendant of that fish? He's hooked right here, so. Yeah, I got one. Got fish on, y'all. 
Yeah, let's go. Feels like a porgy. Let's see if it's a porgy or another sea robin. Oh, come on with the sea robins, man. I, oh, he fell off. He fell off, but it was a sea robin. <laughs> a sea robin. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start paddling in towards the shore. Let's get a little closer so I don't have to work so hard when, when I really want to get out of here. Still got this fish in the back. I don't know what that is. So let's get it out of here. Look like poop. Okay, so we're back at the campsite. That was a very interesting fishing uh, experience. I got caught up in there in the, in, the, in the current. Not the tide, but the current. And I wasn't moving. I had to figure out my makeshift fish bag was dragging was dragging in the water and it was just acting like a break and I wasn't going anywhere. But once I discovered that, I pulled it up, I started to move. I got the current coming right back in to shore and I just rolled it in. But there was a hill, if you saw the hill earlier, coming up that hill, it must be about 30 degree incline. And that was a little struggle. Thanks be for my cousin being there, New Jack Yak KW, he helped me get that up in got it in and i am exhausted guys before you do anything please hit the subscribe button hit that button for me let's grow the channel share it with someone else maybe they're interested in coming out to this to camp uh wildwood state park and once again we're in the marichis long island and don't forget to like the channel too please uh we got more adventures coming up i'll see you on the next video peace out